former national security advisor to President Obama was set to testify in front of the House Permanent Sec yeah. Select Committee on Intelligence, your committee on Tuesday. The testimony on the unmasking of Trump associates has been delayed now. Congressman, why, why the delay and will we ever hear from Susan Rice? Just a correction, I'm not on that committee, but I, I do not know what, what the delay is. But what I do know is this, there's lots of questions she needs to answer. Uh, you know, she's, she's, she's the one who asked for these names. Uh, she, did, she, did she share them? Who'd she share them with? Why did she ask for them in the first place? Here's the other thing we know about Susan Rice. After the tragedy in Benghazi, she went on TV five different stations and was less than honest with the American people, blaming the attack on a video which we know was not accurate, which we know was not truthful. So let's, let's get to the bottom of all those, those key questions. And let's also get to the bottom of this question. There is a finite number of people, a limited number of people who had the ability to unmask these names, had the ability to find these names and, and, and then leak these names. Let's find out who those that group of people, it's not 315 million Americans who had the ability to do this. It is a relatively small number of people who could. So let's get the answer to that question. Who had the ability to do it? And then let's find out why they did it and who they shared well, it with. Well, how come you don't know that already? I mean, look, well, I, I wish we did. Um, you'd have to ask folks on the Intel Committee. I wish we'd be having some, some hearings on some of these issues uh, relative to unmasking of names. I wish we'd be having some of these hearings in the House Judiciary Committee, which I'm a member of, and we've been pushing our leadership to do that. Yeah, Congressman, let me ask you, we've been talking this morning about this horrible news about John McCain, yeah. and of course we're wishing him uh, the, the, the best of luck and wishes um, of, of yeah, strong sure. health uh, that as he faces the battle of his life right here with brain cancer. What, what happens now in the Senate in terms of his vote? I know that everything is incredibly tight. You need well, the 50 votes. So what, how, does, how does this play out? Because well, obviously well, he's going to be out for, for some time now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, first of all, I'm, uh, just like you, we, we're uh, praying for Senator McCain. I mean, just amazing individual with a great family, heroic, patriotic um, American. And uh, for, for me, uh, uh, Senator McCain, uh, we've always sort of hit it off because his background's in the sport of wrestling like, like mine, so we always talk a little wrestling when we get together as well. So we are obviously wishing him the best. I don't know how it, I don't know how it plays out. Uh, we hope he gets uh, back as, as soon as he can and can deal with this, uh, with this concern and this illness that, that is now there. Uh, we'll see, but may, maybe now we're going to need another vote over there. Um, you know, maybe Senator Paul or Senator Collins, uh, uh, but, but we'll just have to see. But obviously, our, our main focus is on we want uh, Senator McCain. We wish him the best, and we'll be praying for him. Uh, absolutely, as as are we. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks very much for joining Thank us you. this morning, Congressman Jim Jordan. There still.